going on people guys welcome back to another JS TV back again and on my way up to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium where Newcastle are playing Tottenham Hotspur like I said and I'm on my way in the tube heading away to King's Cross I've got to make that change from King's Cross to Seven Sisters so this is a massive game for Newcastle because we cannot afford another L against our name after the final drumming against Everton Goodison Park a couple of nights ago and it seems to me that we have the same squad I think it's going to be a cracking game both teams love to play football from the front foot yes we got injuries Tottenham's got injuries as well but they haven't got the worst injuries than we have got and there's some rumours that Bowman Song could be out of the game as well so if you like the video, like what you watch, make sure you smash the like, pause hit subscribe as well. And I'm in the tube in the minutes, I'm having a good ride in the minutes and just parked up at Oxbridge and so it's easy for me to get warm. And at the minute it's really quiet in the tube, it's just how I like it. And yeah, that's on the game. There's rumours that um, we could get our bigger players back on subs bench. We have to find out whether that's true or not, I don't know but we should see and like I said it is gloomy in London today it's absolutely miserable it's wet it's a little bit windy here and I just think it's going to get worse I hope it's um, a better day in the afternoon so guys on the way to King's Cross then the Seven Sisters on route to the match like and subscribe as always not that much the there we go guys, I'm coming off to King's Cross soon. That's what I'll be getting off the way to change from King's Cross Piccadilly Line to Seven Sisters. There we go guys, I just jumped off, off the, um, the tube and um, I'm now I'm going to make my way on to the Piccadilly Line. I'm at King's Cross in a minute, heading away to the match and I'm going to make my way down to Seven Sisters and then I've got a long 20, 25 minute walk from there to the stadium. So. He'll keep us fit, and I'll do keep him fit, by the way, people. Kim and Salva with me, Newcastle fans, made a way to Tottenham and thanks so much for coming on to JS TV. Starting with you, Kim, um, how was your journey? Great, we drove down the day in my little Ford Fiesta, the Magnavile, the Magnavile it is. Um, yeah, it's alright. Not yeah. much traffic, so we got straight down. Great time. Parked easy up at the hospital. Yeah. Bless you. Um, you said about uh, the pubs and the Tottenham fans as well, walking around saying they were quiet. I mean, yeah. I've never seen anything like it, you know what I mean, are they just... I mean, you could hear a pin drop, really. These lads made more noise than hundreds out there. Um, and in the, club, in the pub you weren't allowed to sing neither, so it was uh, definitely a quiet experience once you got here. Yeah, and um, today's game, um, Tottenham, Newcastle, and we come here back in the field of defeat on Thursday night. Can we bounce back? Yeah, yeah. You've got to back the boys, they've got to be behind them the day. Exactly. Oh, I'm giving a hit, I'm tripping out as well. It's yeah. just time. Yeah. 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 I'm going to go 3-1. 3-1 right. yeah. to the cast, what's your score predict? Gordon's going to be the man. Gordon on fire again. Fine, fantastic. Listen guys, thanks so much for coming on. Come on, big up, big up, big up. There we go, I'm coming out to the stadium now. And I'm walking over into the stadium. And here we are in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and I'm thinking wow what a stadium this is like you know hopefully one day we'll get a new brand new stadium as well if you look at it inside look at the stadium man wow amazing stadium and if you get a stadium like this in the future then you never never know and beautiful stadium can't beat it and very impressive when it gets full the atmosphere will be fantastic 
you join us here. Hi guys, I'm inside the top of the stadium and as you see at the back of the stadium it's absolutely fantastic. It really, really is. And you know what? The Tom Cook we have built this wonderful stadium and I just bought one day. We might get ourselves a new stadium as well over at Lisa's Park. But the atmosphere is filled in at the minute and from the inside to food bar, it's loud here, it's filled up nicely, and here I am. This is a magnificent stadium. Just to give a bit of team news as well, Sean Longstaff, Cam Wilson are amongst the subs bench. It's great to see them both back on the grass as well. Where are we going to come on later on? No idea, but we have to wait and see. But the team lineup is exactly the same as the last year. So, as you see, the background is on the and let's hope we get three points. And as always, Oh, no. 
Sides. We could have scored a couple, a little bit of shot just over the top, and then Gordon on the left hand side, so all over the top of the draw, straight on the left hand side, we're going to take it. Especially when we a couple of times, the left hand of the fucking stiff, and we're going to have to cross, and that's still nil-nil, this can go either way. Where's the defence? Where's the defence? It's not the first time they've done that. The back of the side of earlier, but this time Zach from left hand side at the end. The ball comes across and it's not going for what five yards out, leaving the back in no chance whatsoever. It's quest round of defence. Absolutely unbelievable. When will we learn? When are we ever going to learn? It's not the left hand. Their left hand. Back. We need to fix up quick, man, because if we don't fix up, they're going to get another couple. Go on. Mighty man, Spurs squad, but he should have got another one. So on the right hand side, three at the back post, the ball squared in, and this is your tear cast. We are over the place at a minute, Newcastle. Fix up, guys, because there's going to be another one if we don't fix up quickly. But we have got to find a way, we've got to find a way. Exactly the minute we're not. It's the left side again. When are we going to learn our lesson, people? This is an absolute effing fast. Two another Tottenham. And I tell you what, as far as I'm concerned, this game is done. This game is done. Just end it. End it. Second goal for Spurs, going to be 38 minutes. Coming up the line, Richard Allison. Half time is Tottenham 2, Newcastle 0. We are absolutely shite in the first half. It's unbelievable, man. And 
you know what? We started all right. We had two couple good chances there. Um, obviously, Liver Mentor's on looking for a rasping drive, and then Gordon left wing cross, which there's no tips in the middle. But the first goal was always going to be key, and I'm fair it came to Tottenham. It's a lovely referral of that style. The ball's played in. The doggy got in there, hit in, in the back of that one deal to Tottenham. Then the second goal, I felt Trippi could have done better on the left side. The ball squared in, and then Richardson was never going to miss that. That was 2 0. But I tell you what, guys, it could have been 3, 4, 5, 6. I suppose they'll take their chances. Some went close, the channel went close. But at the other end, Mickey had that chance when Isaac kind of put him through. It was a awful shot and the keeper had gone for a save then, but we really need to fix up. Because I'll tell you what, as things start stand, this game is done. It's absolute done. And yes, we're knackered. Yes, our legs are scarred. But let's be real, right? What have we got to offer? Shocking. Shocking. We need to do something about it, guys. Let's give it a goal, eh? Anyway. Wow! There's someone to go on with, people! 
That is too good long and too late and not for the first time. That's it guys, there's just four one it's the Spurs. Yeah, it was game over in the first half I'll be on the air but listen, like and subscribe to the podcast. As always, I'm done, I'm out, I'm out.